Have you seen the new physics tab in the properties panel of an object in Horizon Worlds? Pull out any object from the build menu and open up its properties panel by selecting it and pressing forward on the thumbstick. If the object is not interactive, then under the physics tab you will only have one property, the physics audio material. This determines if the object makes a sound when it collides with another object, or more correctly, when another object collides with it. The sound choices are none, stone, wood, and ceramic. Note that if two objects collide and each of them have a sound assigned, then both sounds will occur when the collision happens. If you have selected the object to be physics enabled, then you will see a greater variety of choices under the physics tab. You will want to make adjustments to these properties in conjunction with the gravity properties found under the behavior tab to make sure your object acts and feels like it should. First, you'll see the physics material presets drop down menu. These presets automatically set the sliders below to conform to a specific type of physics material. The presets include default, feather, hardwood, ice, metal, rubber ball, softwood, super ball, and super ice. In the default preset, the density, bounciness, and drag are all the average of the material values with some friction added. The feather preset is the only material with a different drag value than the others, and it is the least dense. When dropped or thrown, objects set to feather will rapidly slow down and seem to float. The hardwood preset is the material with the highest friction values and the third densest. Objects set to hardwood will be heavy and hard to push. Objects with the ice preset will slide with little effort and will slide for quite a while when pushed. They will also have very little bounce to them. The metal preset contains the densest material, about three times denser than the default material. Unlike hardwood, however, it has a lower than average friction value, but is still harder to move than either the ice or the super ice materials. The rubber ball preset has a high bounciness, but less than average density. When an object set to rubber ball is dropped, it will bounce up to 80% of the initial drop height as opposed to the 10 to 20% of most other materials. The softwood preset is a material that is less than half as dense as hardwood and somewhat bouncier, similar to the rubber ball and super ball materials. Objects set to softwood will be hard to move, but slightly easier to start moving than objects with a hardwood material. The super ball preset is a material with nearly the same values as rubber ball, except it loses none of its energy in a collision. Objects that are dropped will bounce up to the same height they were dropped at. The super ice material contains nearly the same values as ice, but with zero friction. Objects set to super ice will start sliding and won't stop until they hit something. Physics enabled objects also have physical property sliders beyond the physics material presets. These properties are located below the preset drop-down menu and can be adjusted to suit your needs for that object. The sliders include mass, which is the relative weight of the object with relationship to other objects, drag, the relative air resistance that it possesses, angular drag, basically how much an object tumbles when it collides with another object, friction, both dynamic and static, and this is how easy the object slides against other objects, and bounciness, how much bounce does the object have. By using these sliders, you can customize very specific physics material settings to tailor your objects exactly as you like. The weight simulation when held toggle allows you to create heavy feeling objects which actually weigh down your avatar's hands when held and can overshoot with momentum when swung. You can increase or decrease the strength of your hand by adjusting the spring stiffness and damping values of the hand joint itself. Lastly, the center of mass override toggle allows you to change where an object's center of mass is located. This is very important for creating realistic objects in Horizon Worlds. For example, 
If you were to lay a sledgehammer on the edge of a table, it would stay if the hammer side was on the table, but it would fall off if the handle side was on the table. Through the use of this toggle, you can make that happen. I can't wait to see what you will do with these tools, and we'll see you in Horizon. <music>